Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of cholesterol-lowering drugs, specifically statins. Now, I know what you're thinking, statins? That's boring. But bear with me. Statins are some of the most commonly prescribed medications, and while they do wonders for improving heart health, they also come with some pesky side effects. So, in this video, we're going to explore the three most popular statins, atorvastatin, prosuvastatin, and simvastatin, and why they might be causing you some unexpected discomfort. Let's start with atorvastatin, also known as Lipitor. This bad boy is one of the most well-known statins, and for good reason, it's highly effective in reducing cholesterol levels. But, like all good things, there's a catch. Atorvastatin has been known to cause some gastrointestinal issues, like abdominal pain and nausea. It can also give you some pretty nasty muscle pain and weakness, which can be a real pain in the… well, you know. So, why does this happen? Essentially, statins work by inhibiting an enzyme in your liver that produces cholesterol. But, that same enzyme is also involved in producing coenzyme Q10, which is essential for muscle health. So, when you take a torvastatin, you are not only lowering your cholesterol, you are also potentially lowering your coenzyme Q10 level, which can lead to muscle pain and weakness. Next up, we've got rosuvastatin, aka Crestor. Now, this one's a little different than a torvastatin, in that it's known for causing more mild side effects, like headache, dizziness, and mild muscle pain. But, there's one potential side effect of rosuvastatin that's a little more serious, it can affect your liver function. C. While statins are great for reducing cholesterol, they also put some strain on your liver, which can result in elevated liver enzymes. For most people, this isn't a big deal, your liver will bounce back after you stop taking the drug. But, for a small percentage of people, rosuvastatin can cause more severe liver damage, so it's important to keep an eye on those liver function tests. Last but not least, we've got simvastatin, aka Zocor. Simvastatin is another popular statin, but it's got a pretty hefty side effect profile. For one thing, it can cause some serious muscle damage, which can lead to a condition called rhabdomyolysis. Essentially, rhabdomyolysis occurs when muscle fibers break down and release a protein called myoglobin into your bloodstream. This can lead to kidney damage, which can be life-threatening. But, don't worry, rhabdomyolysis is pretty rare, and usually only occurs in people who are taking high doses of simvastatin or who are on other medications that interact with it. Simvastatin can also lead to some cognitive issues, like memory loss and confusion. It's not entirely clear why this happens, but some researchers believe that it's related to the aforementioned depletion of coenzyme Q10. Whatever the cause, it's definitely something to keep an eye on if you're taking simvastatin. So, there you have it, a breakdown of the most common side effects associated with atorvastatin, rosuvastatin, and simvastatin. Now, I know what you're thinking, should I even be taking these drugs with all these potential side effects? Well, the answer is, it depends. For most people, the benefits of taking a statin far outweigh the risks. But, if you're experiencing some of these side effects, or if you're concerned about your liver or muscle health, it's always a good idea to talk to your doctor. They can help you weigh the pros and cons of taking a statin, and can also recommend some lifestyle changes that can help lower your cholesterol without medication. As always, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.